Okay, this is an amazing story. I am standing here at the Colon Canary Studio here in Winnipeg with Tom Jansen and Amanda Busey, the co-owners of Colon Canary, a candle company started in September of 2014. And in only two years, guys, you have had such mm -hmm. success. Astounding, really. Thank tell you. us, the viewers, tell the viewers how it all began. Yeah, like you said, we started Colon Canary in the fall of 2014, kind of just as an excuse to hang out more. We've been best friends for years, and we, we needed that creative outlet again in our life. So we started making candles as a hobby, uh, started posting photos on Instagram, made a website, and things kind of took off from there. And what type of experience were you bringing? You're a graphic designer, right? Yeah, so I'm a graphic designer. I also have a marketing background. Um, so that was kind of my expertise. And Tom uh, is actually a registered nurse, but got into making candles just as a creative outlet. So asked me to team up with him and kind of combine our forces, and Colin Canary started from that. Now let's talk about the candles, because you guys aren't fooling around. No, this is the yeah. highest quality <laughs> ingredients, right? right? Yeah, so we make our candles. We hand pour them all in small batches. We use a blend of soy and vegetable waxes, so they're super creamy. They'll fill your entire space with the fragrance, but they're not perfumey. So we use really high quality fragrance oil. So those who suffer from migraines or get headaches from candles won't be bothered by these, which is great. And you have a wooden wick. I've done my research, right? Uh, so it doesn't right. smoke, right, when it burns? Right, right. So we do use an untreated cherry wood wick. Um, so it does make that nice little crackling sound like a fireplace, which is a nice added touch. And not only does it smell amazing, but it looks amazing, and that's very key, obviously. So True. even when the candles aren't burning, you, the scent is kind of floating throughout the house, which is great. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Okay, yeah. so let's talk about the Oscars and yeah. the Grammys. <laughs> okay, now this was a huge story, obviously, for you yeah. and caught you by surprise. How did that happen? Yeah, well, again, Tom and I are very much go-getters, go bigger, go home types. Um, so when we started our hobby, uh, we made a business plan a couple you know, weeks into it when people started asking about selling the product. Um, so our five-year goal was to do um, some sort of gift bag. We were aiming more local, like the Junos. We thought that'd be amazing. Um, and then we said, you know what? Like, let's try for something bigger, like the Oscars or the Grammys. So we did a bunch of research and found the company who's hired on to make the products and just sent them an email and said, this is who we are. This is what our website is. This is our product. Um, what's the process in five years time to be considered and not expecting a response back um, but two, two weeks later we got an email back saying you know what we know you didn't apply but we reviewed the product and we think it's perfect for both the Grammys and the Oscars for this year for the home decor product are you in and so we we did it an ultimate compliment there <laughs> but now once accepted by these guys that's a huge rush to make a lot of candles yeah I mean we were still both working full-time so it was really difficult we'd go to work our full-time jobs and go to our studio in the evening and work till four in the morning every day of the week until it was finished and we had to do about uh, I think a total of about 2,000 candles for the show so it was a lot Amanda I think you've also said I read this that you know the fact that Beyonce may have a candle in her house <laughs> is probably quite bizarre right Cameron Diaz yep. endorsed yeah, yeah. you guys yeah, yeah. I mean this is has this all been just so mind-boggling it's surreal I'm not gonna lie um, one day I got a call from Beyonce's hairdresser oh and my. he from New York City and he wanted to sell them in his salon and like it was just crazy I'm like wow how do you even know who we are you know <laughs> yeah. um, but it's it's been a, absolutely unreal and it's been a really fun journey one of the biggest reasons for your success is that you've targeted your audience on social media you guys did your research, you noticed that candle companies weren't really targeting the young, hip professional. Yeah. So through Instagram, like that's your main source of success, I would say, yeah. right? I'd say about 90% of our retailers have actually approached us by finding us on Instagram. We knew that our client was the millennials and they use Instagram, so that was really our targeting point and we went from there. Okay, now a big thing with you guys too, you're cheeky and you're playful, uh, right? It's all are. about <laughs> it's all about the personality, right? But I feel <laughs> I feel like people have really connected with that, right? Yeah, How much of incorporating your personality was a big part of this for you? I feel like it's everything. Um, when we started our company again, we started as a hobby and it was honestly just a way to infuse our personality into a really fun product that we got a kick out of. Mm -hmm. And um, again, when we started releasing these, these products onto social media and people really started reacting and they felt like they could connect with them. And I think they just really to them more than anything mm -hmm. um, and I, again I just think that that is something that a lot of candle companies weren't currently doing at the time and we wanted people to be able to walk into you know a store and see a product and laugh and immediately feel like they knew you know who the the creators behind it were and what their personalities were like and I think that's been really huge in our success excellent good for you guys and Tom yeah. if you were to give some advice if you were to give some advice to Millennials yeah. who want to start their own business yeah. what would you say I mean don't be afraid to do it uh, Millennials Millennials are so receptive to new products and new ideas. So definitely get out there and do it. Use the connections you have to help you out and everyone's gonna be so responsive to help you. Fantastic, well, congratulations to the both of you. It's a wonderful story and Winnipeg own, local. All right, you're watching Shaw TV.